Craig Field gets a virtual tower. Selma hosts a red carpet event and Old Cahaba installs a special bench. That and more in this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight, Selma's Dallas County's only local and award-winning <laughs> newscast. I'm Cindy Fisher, publisher of the Selma Sun. And I'm Todd Prater, staff writer for the Selma Sun. Here are this week's top stories. There's growth coming to Craig Field and our very own Todd Prater shares this report to explain more about what's coming to the airfield in Dallas County. For a city to grow economically, it really needs an airport that's controlled by a control tower manned by air traffic controllers. It makes the airport much safer and able to handle a much higher volume of traffic than an uncontrolled airport, like what Craig Field is right now. However, Craig Field is about to become a controlled airport through technology that's already in use in Europe. It's called a virtual tower. It uses satellites, high definition cameras, and computers to control the airport. The best aspect of it is, it costs millions less than a physical tower, and it does not need to be physically located at the airport that it's controlling. Craig Field Executive Director Jim Corrigan says that the company that's bringing the virtual tower to Craig is Advanced ATC, and they'll start by setting up an academy where they'll train air traffic controllers, as well as setting up the home base to control up to 40 airports around the country. Building number 349 at Craig is being renovated to house the control base and the academy. The dorms that are next door are being renovated to house the academy students. The old tower at Craig that was in use when it was a military base would be way too costly to renovate and update. Reporting live at Craig Field for Selma Sun Spotlight, I'm Todd Prater. Cast members of the movie Castle Falls, which was filmed in Birmingham, came to Selma's Walton Theater on June 26th for a red carpet premiere. The movie, which was directed by Dolph Lundgren of Rocky fame, mm -hmm. featured some local art actors, including Selma's own Alicia Chestnut, who brought the crew to Selma for the premiere. It was a day, it was a huge premiere of the film Castle Falls. It has been a hobby of mine and to actually see a school off a huge premiere um, on a Sunday at that. Um, it just lights my heart and it made me very grateful and thank God for everything. Radio personality Dollar Bill, Dollar Bill Lawson who worked in Selma at WHBB in the 70s. He returned for the film and says he and his wife were thrilled to be back. Actor Robert Berlin, who plays the bad guy, said he was excited to be in Selma and said to look forward to more projects like this one. Old Cahaba Archaeological Park, as we know it today, would not exist if not for the hard work and dedication of Elise Faircloth Blackwell. Unfortunately, she passed away January 15. Monday, June 20, the, Cah the Cahaba Advisory Committee unveiled a memorial bench and plaque that is dedicated to Blackwell's memory. It's at the Comfort Station, which is located in the area of the park where the Cahaba Festival was once held. Site director and friend of Blackwell's, Linda Derry, says that it was an appropriate place because the Cahaba Festival was Blackwell's baby. And not only did it attract thousands of visitors, it also attracted the attention of politicians who found additional state funding for the park. She sounds like a neat lady. I wish I knew her. From what Linda says, she was just an amazing person. Aww. A ball of energy. We appreciate what she did for the Amen. community. The University of Alabama's Department of Communicative D Disorders was in town at the Dallas County Health Department on June 29th, testing residents' hearing for a hearing study they currently have underway. Professor Marsha Hay McCutcheon, who is the principal investigator on the study, says it helps determine side effects of hearing loss. She says people who have problems hearing in certain situations may lo no longer join in activities that put them in the environment that makes it hard for them to hear. This leads to emotional health issues and even other physical health issues. The study includes five counties, Dallas, Perry, Wilcox, Marengo, and Sumter. They will be back in Selma in September and at a choice event in Uniontown on July 13. 
Hey, guess what? You got some good news. I do. <laughs> the Selma Sun has won a record 16 awards in the Alabama Press Association's annual media awards. Isn't that amazing? It's yeah. so humbling. It's so amazing. This is for work that we did in 2021. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the highlights is we have seven first place wins. Golly. And one of them is for this very newscast, the, oh, the Selma Sun Spotlight. Isn't that amazing? We it's also won first place for SelmaSun.com, our website, our which website? I think that's a hard category to do because all of right. us are competing uh, to have really awesome websites. So we were really proud of And that's a of lot those. of good websites that we're competing against. So yes. Win that is fantastic. We also won for our, our podcasts on mm -hmm. Spotify that right. we have on Spotify, which is really exciting. We're one of the only ones in our category doing that. Actually, that's we are amazing. the only ones doing it in our category. <laughs> and then we came in third place for general excellence. So that's, general I mean, excellence. that's a pretty... I've never put in for that one until this year. That is fantastic. Because I think we're generally excellent. I think we're generally excellent as well. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I just know it's just such a pleasure to work with this amazing Selma Sun team. It is. And so I'm just so humbled and pleased and proud to be a part of the team. Thank you. Yes. Every year we get m more and more awards. And, and get better and better. We're trying to be innovative. And that's exciting right. that we're getting, being recognized for that. So we appreciate it. That's fun. It's a fun challenge. Well, thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight. Read these stories and more at SelmaSun.com and follow and subscribe to us at our YouTube channel and on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and see you next week. Thanks for reading and watching.